Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look here at the brand new 2024 Voltage 4225 Toy Hauler 5th Wall. This is Dutchman's highest line of Toy Hauler 5th Walls. We're going to take a few minutes here, kind of run you through the inside and outside of the RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. This one was ordered with one of their beautiful exterior paint job options. Very nice look to the RV on the outside. But let's get started up on the inside and then we'll come on back to the outside for you. All right, so stepping up into the back side of the RV here, we have a really nice patio deck system here. By Moore Ride, the way it's all set up here, you have that three season door set up. Gonna have the Thule power awning on the back. Couple lights up there as well. I like how they did the little steps going off the side instead of the back. Again, three season door set up. You do have like a little beaver tail slope here. So it makes it easier for your toys to get up in the RV here. Down below here, you have an area that you could use as a dinette or seating during the day. And there's a folding table that's actually underneath of the mattress right here. But you could do, again, dinette area during the day if you need to sit back here and eat or just lounge back here, or it will also make a bed. So you could sleep four people back here in the garage area pretty comfortably. You've got a window on each side of the garage here that does open. A Little bit of overhead cabinet space, some speakers up there, one of the three ducted ACs up there as well. Jensen TV. Multiple tie downs in the floor area. Then over here you're gonna have a half bath with a folding wall set up here. So right now I got the wall folded back which gives me more room to bring in a toy. You're gonna have some awning controls and the bed up and down controls, AC control, and prepping right here for a Voyager camera so you can actually see what's going on behind you in the garage area while you're driving down the road. All right, moving up into the kitchen and living room area. You got a nice swing door here, bringing you right up into this area. So you really could use this as a two and a half bedroom RV. Uh, so you got basically a front bedroom, you're gonna have the garage that can be a back bedroom, and then you're actually gonna have a little loft up here as well. So you got a little ladder here. There's also a second ladder that goes in for that bunk area back there I forgot to mention. But this ladder takes you up to the little loft area up here. So you could throw some kids in the back or extra guests and have a little area up there as well, or just use that area for storage. You always need storage in an RV. So you have the large Furion oven with a little pull-out drawer below it, three burner cooktop, Furion microwave, and quite a bit of cabinet storage up here as well. Very nice cabinetry setup. And down below here, they also have a little pull-out trash can here. Quite a bit of storage underneath of the sink as well. Soft clothes, hinges there. Full extending ball burn drawer, got a drawers. But kind of a nice little U-shaped kitchen setup. And then back to the living room area here. So you got plenty of entertaining room here. You have three Thomas Paine theater seats here. Really cool setup. We'll get back to that. Almost forgot here. We got a large Furion refrigerator right here. Freezer on bottom. Refrigerator part on top. There is some overhead cabinet space here. And you're also going to have a pretty good size pantry area there as well. And these shelves are removable 
if you want to just make it into a closet. There's a motion light in there as well. All right, back to the living room area. So we have, again, three theater seats. They have USB charger ports and cup holders in there. They also have, looks like, little uh, heat and massage feature, looks like, and also open and close feature. You're going to have the large Jensen TV, IRV technology, radio, electric fireplace right there. They are using pull-down roller nightshades in the living room area here. Got kind of that little floating step look going up here. Electric box with some breakers and fuses right there. Then we're going to have... 12 volt tank heaters, generator start stop button, and hour meter, uh, fuel gauge. You also have slide out and awning controls, some light switches, water pump. You can connect to this through Bluetooth, and there's an app you can download and kind of control some of your RV. Some more light switches and stuff here as well. The on demand water heater controls, a fantastic fan control that is back in the kitchen area. I forgot to mention that earlier. It's right up there. Big turbo exhaust fan thing. Bathroom on this door here, but we're going to step into the bedroom first. And we'll kind of work our way back. So here in your bedroom area, you got sliding doors. Little mirrors on them. Dresser area, TV hookups. There is also some drawers down below here as well. So same thing, you can move these doors out of the way, you got more drawers there. You also have washer dryer hookup here. And you can remove this shelf and just use it for hanging closet space if you want as well. More shelf space. Camper King bed, dimmable lights over there, window on each side of the bed does open. Now you can get to the bathroom area from the bedroom or the hallway, either one. So you got a vent up there, skylight up above, adjustable shower bar, step in shower with the sit down seat. Large medicine cabinet, a little bit of counter space, and some drawer and cabinet space. And again, you also have that porcelain foot flush toilet. But a very cool toy hauler here. So if you don't need something larger than a 13-foot garage, but you want a lot of sleeping and entertainment space, this may be the one for you. Packed full of really nice features. Now let's step out here, kind of go over the outside. You'll see this little advertisement sticker right there that talks about the three-year limited structural warranty. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is a lot in the RV industry because there's a lot of brands that only have a one-year limited structural warranty, but the Voltage does the three-year. Okay, so getting started here on the outside. Again, this one was ordered with the optional full-body exterior paint job. It has the frameless-looking windows to it. You have two Pretty good size power awnings on this side with LED light strips built in close to the body, adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head, and it also has slide out awning covers covering up the slide rooms as well. The unit has a six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system. So you're gonna have two jacks here in the front, two kind of toward the middle, and then two behind your triple axle you'll see as we get back there. You have prepping on the side right here for a portable solar panel 
So if you get stuck under some trees or something and you're boondock camping, you could always plug in a portable blanket panel and kind of move it around with the sun instead of just being stuck under a tree like the one that would be on the roof of the RV. So one of your two 30 pound propane tanks right here, there's gonna be another one on the other side. Slam lock baggage door here on this door. So you have some light switches here for the cap lights, docking light, the uh, switch here for the storage area, and an electric outlet in here as well. Right here, you're gonna have your 30 amp charge controller for the 200 watt solar panel that's on the roof. And it even has a little kill switch for it as well. Inverter stuff, some of the generator stuff as well. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing there. Right here, you're gonna have your furnace exhaust out right here, but I do really like the fact that they actually took the time to paint the cover. A lot of them don't, so that's kind of nice. Large folding entry handle. This one also has that more ride step here, but then it also was ordered with the extra handle here. So there's actually two grab handles to help get in and out of there. If you have little kids or maybe a little bit uh, handicap or something, that extra handle really does help getting in and out of there so you don't have to try and stretch and reach up to the larger handle. There are two outdoor speakers right here on this lower side of the RV, along with an electric outlet. Again, this unit is triple axle. You have aluminum wheels, drum brakes, and it has that more ride CRE 3000 suspension upgrade in the middle there, which kind of acts as shock absorbers for RVs. So definitely a nice little upgrade there. Moving back a little further, you're gonna have your rear garage door here, getting you in the side of the garage. Traditional hover style step here, rated for 300 pounds. And your spare tires mounted under the bottom, and right there is the crank to actually crank your spare tire down. The little uh, chrome looking thing right there, that is a side vent, so if you have a motorcycle or something in there with fumes, gas fumes or whatever. You're supposed to pop those open when traveling so they don't build up in the RV. You have, again, really nice set of more ride steps and grab handle here to get you up the side of the deck instead of coming off the back. So some camp spots where you might be a little limited in length, you know, that just helps save you a few extra feet. You have these support poles but then you also have cables. You'll see the cable over there, but I have this cable detached because I wanted to put the steps out, which is what the support pole kind of takes the place of the cable. These decks are rated for about 1,500 pounds when they're in patio mode. They hold more weight when they're in ramp mode and you're actually loading in a toy. Now up top, way up there, is prepping for a rear observation camera. So it's prepped for a camera in the garage, but also prepped for a camera on the back of the RV. So you could use that. That's a Furion prep up there where you could see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road. Now they use the nicer more ride zero G door on this uh, model and that makes it really light and easy to open and close the door compared to some of those spring models. Ladder that comes in and out, it kind of folds in and out a few inches to make it uh, more flush when traveling, but it gets you up and down on and off the roof. You have two fuel stations, your fuel gauge and stuff here, your fuel pump here as well. You're gonna have a dump area right there. Step back here so you can kind of see down this whole side a little bit better. There's a black tank flush right there for the half bath. Also, again, another uh, vent up there as well. There's gonna be another dump area located right down here. Again, slide out awning covers up there to help shade the rooms and protect them. Right here, you have your detachable 50 amp power cord. 
And we also have the on-demand water heater right there. And again, kudos to them for actually taking the time to paint that covered door where a lot of them just make it black or white plain. So kind of nice they did that. Generator exhausting out right there. Then you got a little docking station area over here. So you got a light, electric outlet, cable outlet, gravity fill fresh water tank area right here. Your black tank flush, city water hookups, winterization hookups, a uh, couple dump handles here as well, and your bypass. And then over here, you're gonna have the auto level jack controls also. Swing baggage door here as well. And then right here, we got our other 30 pound propane tank. And right up there is the auto changeover regulator, the pick which bottle you wanna use or start off with. Right here, you're gonna have some very important informational stickers. So first up, gonna be, for example, production date sticker right here. Tells me this RV rolled off the assembly line on 424 of 24. VIN number, it's gonna tell me here, unloaded vehicle weight, 16,260 pounds with these options on it. Gross vehicle weight, is 20,000 pounds. So don't exceed that according to this sticker here. It does have three 7,000 pound axles on it. ST23580R16G range tires. Model number again is 425 for 4225. Get that right. Uh, again, the uh, 16 inch G rated tires, 110 PSI cold. Very important guys, keep up with your tire pressure. That is really crucial that the RV has the right tire pressure so it can hold the weight of the RV properly. On around to the front, it does have a really nice kind of bubbled out front nose cone with multiple LED lights. So you have a light strip across the top you have these kind of V-strips on the sides as well. And then you have a light directly above this upgraded Kurt Rotoflex hitch pin box. So this pin box here kind of acts as a little bit of a rubber cushion for that start-stop chucking. And you also have a little reflective mirror here that'll help you when you're hooking up. It's got a foam over, uh, film over it right now, um, but that's kind of nice. Peel that off and it kind of reflects so when you're backing in, you can see what's happening. Owning 5,500 watt gasoline generator right there. And then you have little battery compartment and your hydraulic reservoir and stuff. So some of the inner workings of the RV right there. But overall, a very cool setup here for the new 2024 Voltage fifth wheel toy hauler here. Let's step back inside here real quick. Just want to kind of show you what one of these slide outs look like, kind of going in and out. So when the slides are closed, I cannot get to the kitchen area. Um, I really could not get to the garage area from here. You got to go through the back garage door. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get you an idea here. These are 12 volt powered slides. push a button, they come straight in, go straight out. It is very, very important to make sure your floor is clean and nothing is in the way of the slide because it will damage them. You could run over a rock or something on accident, not paying attention, and the next thing you know, you've ripped your linoleum floor. So we're gonna set this ladder off to the side here just a little bit. So we can show you what this other slide looks like. But as you can see, it gets real close. It's a tight fit. So it's important to make sure all your cabinet doors and your drawers and everything are closed up. Okay, so all closed up here. Now, if I really had to, I probably could step across the two sofas here and squeeze back in there. 
um, maybe load something in my fridge or grab something but it's obviously not real convenient but if I had to I probably could squeeze back through there to do so but it just again takes just a few seconds to hit the button bump the thing out enough to get what you need to get and then last but not least the bedroom here Let's see if we can manage to get this one done here stretch around and make it work Now if you don't mind folks, please remember to hit that like button if you're interested in keeping up with more of my RV video tours. I also do a lot of short video tours on TikTok and Instagram and some of those places as well. So if you're interested in keeping up with some of that stuff as well, please remember to check out those channels. And as always, if you don't mind, please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Let's step outside here one last time. Just want to show you what it looks like closed up. And as you can see, they did a, a very nice job there. of Kind of lining up all the lining and the paint job and everything. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my tours, as always.